Hey YouTube, um, I've just been back down to my local Argos, um, I'm sure if you're in the UK you know what that is. Picked up some more Halo Mega Block stuff, uh, these were out of stock the other day so I wasn't able to get them. But checking the website today, they were, so I ran down there to pick these up quickly. Um, again, they've only just come out but they're on sale, um, Argos is selling these at 14 99 which is a bargain. Um, I haven't opened this up yet. I don't know what this little tag picture is. I mean, I've got an iPhone, so I'll see what comes up when I tag it, but I don't know what that's for yet. Uh, Eva's last stand, or EVA's last stand. Have a look on the back there. Shows you some of the other bits that are in the series. I nearly picked that up, but I'm not sure about it. I can't decide. Uh, gives you a little read up there. Um, on authentic war-torn battle terrain, a green EVA Spartan is the last UNSC soldier in his unit. On the run from two Covenant hunters, he finds a battle-damaged warthog and makes a heroic stand using its powerful mounted turret against his Covenant pursuers. Okay, well I'm going to put this together. Um, and when I come back, I'll do a little review of it for you. Okay, here we are, so here's the finished product, didn't take too long to set up, um, but worthwhile in the end. It's a nice display piece, definitely worth picking up. Uh, <clears throat> like I say, I got it for a reduced price at Argos, but if you're not able to get that, um, I'd still pick it up. You know, even if you're paying 20 quid, 20 dollars, it's really nice. You get two of these hunters, which is, it's falling off now. Which is worth getting anyway because they're they're hard to get hold of. You have to buy sets to get them. If you get them off eBay, they're going for like six fifty, seven pound. So um, just for them, it's worth getting. Um, even if you don't display this, I mean, because you can take this off. The instructions say you can take it off, add it to a chassis of another warthog, and have a a different type of warthog. But this is a brilliant piece. It looks really really nice. The decals that they've got on here. Just brilliant, like the the worn effects and the broken windscreen there. Got plants growing all over it. Yeah, it's a really really nice piece. Um, I've set it up a little different to how the instructions say, but I'm sure everyone will have their own way of setting it up. It comes with a few extra bits and pieces, um, and so you can. I've got a few left over there, so you can really do what you want with it. Um, it's the new style of warthog. Um, I only have this one, but you see here, like you got this piece, uh, this piece, and a few other bits here and there are different. See how there is different, and it's different there. It's nice, you know. You get this nice EVA Spartan. You get the the bullet belt going into the turret. It looks brilliant. It's a brilliant display piece. I really, really like it. Um, like you get this tire. That's obviously come off of there, and it's just you just rest it there so you can move bits around, change it around however you want. But it is a lovely, lovely display piece. Um, I'm gonna attach it to my Battlescape. Did a review of that, go check that out. Um, but I'm gonna figure out a way to attach this to it somehow along there, and it will look part of the same thing. Um, the Battlescape is something else that's definitely worth picking up. Um, because they're brilliant. I want to get hold of another one, so eventually my expanding thing can have space to go. But this this is a lovely little setup. Um, yeah, so go out and get it. Oh, one thing before I before I finish, I'll show you these guys. Um, I didn't see the older versions of these. I never had one, um, or don't yet have one. But apparently, these are newer. I think there's some more paint apps on there. Um, and now it's worth noting that the plastic used on here is like a rubber you see it bending there rather than a hard plastic um, I don't know if that's because they're bigger and it was easier but but that's that's how it is and they've got quite a lot of articulation on them they've got the a ball joint waist, ball joint head ball joint shoulders and hips and then the the joints in the knees and the elbows 
but these are really nice as well. So yeah, I'd say go out and pick one of these up if you can. Check out Argos if you're in the UK, because um, they've got loads of Halo stuff on special offer. Um, but if you can't get hold of it on special offer, I'd say pick it up anyway. It's a brilliant, brilliant piece. It looks really, really good. Okay, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.